Should you get Lightroom or Photoshop? It's a really common question that we get. I understand when you're new to photography, people throw all these different software at you. Uh, Photoshop is definitely the name you know, but Lightroom is almost certainly the app that you should start with. Let's go over the differences. Lightroom is a tool for organizing your photos, finding your pictures, and doing light processing. But Lightroom for most people is gonna be all you need. Uh, as you can see, this is Lightroom. It has a list of different modules here, library, develop, map, book, slideshow, print, web. These last four are useless. Book slides, don't ever use those. But library, develop, and map are pretty useful. The library by default shows you this grid of all the photos that you've taken. This is just the last import that I had from one of our wildlife outings. So you can see it's allowing me to see all my pictures in here and I can double click something to uh, just zoom in and examine the picture in more detail. You would use Lightroom to actually import your photos onto your computer. It will render you previews of them and then you can quickly go through and do what's called culling where you flip through the different pictures and decide, okay, this picture is a little bit sharper than that other picture. I like the pose in this picture. Um, it's around workflow, so I can hit these five stars here, and I know this is my five star picture, or I can press five on the keyboard to make it really easy, or I could hit P to flag it as a pick, or I could assign a color to it. Uh, there's lots of different ways you can organize your pictures. You can add keywords to it. For example, I could say great blue heron. And then later I could search for it by for example, using the metadata here, this would allow me to find pictures taken on a specific date or with a camera or with a specific lens or with a specific aperture, ISO, whatever. I could go to the attributes here and filter it out and show me just five-star pictures or pictures that are just flagged or pictures that are a particular color label assigned to them. I could, let's clear that attribute. I could go in and just search for great blue heron and because I've tagged that, it will show me just that one picture. That sort of organization is absolutely necessary for any photographer. I can't imagine living without it. Photoshop lacks those completely. So you could, in theory, use just Photoshop by managing your photos using Finder on a Mac or Explorer in Windows, but those are terrible tools and you will soon be overwhelmed and unable to find your pictures. Lightroom is much better at it. In the develop module, you can do more basic editing. So for example, I could hit the crop tool here and zoom in and just get a little bit tighter here. And then I can see the pictures underexposed. So I could raise the exposure some, maybe bring these highlights down, do things like bump the clarity up and add a little vibrance to it just to make it a little more interesting. Um, straighten the horizon. There's quite a bit of image editing that you can do here. You can even remove blemishes, uh, do selective dodging and burning. You can make somebody's eyes look bigger and brighter. You can't do anything. You can't do all the different editing that you can do in Photoshop, but for most people, this is going to be just about enough. You can even remove chromatic aberration and uh, fix the distortion that occurs in just about any type of lens that's out there. Even acting totally automatically, Lightroom can do a lot to make your pictures look better. Lightroom can also process raw files from just about any camera out there, which Photoshop can also do. Let's talk about what Photoshop is actually good at. Um, you use Lightroom and Photoshop together all the time. So most photographers will, most serious photographers will work with both. You can do things like open up multiple pictures as layers in Photoshop. So. For example, I could select these pictures, right-click them, select edit in, and then either open them in Photoshop or open them as layers in Photoshop. I've already opened up a photo with different layers in Photoshop. This is the layers panel over here. So you can see I actually have three separate pictures stacked up. You can do cool things with layers, like let's move this layer over here. And now you can see the layers aren't quite lined up the same. I will add a mask to this, and then I'm going to paint in that mask. And now I can kind of stack these different birds on top of each other. I'll do the same thing here, just painting in that mask and move it around. So you can do things like that, like create a little collection as well as doing, you can do just about anything you can do 
for editing photos in Lightroom, you can also do in Photoshop. So you can color correct, you can crop, you can fix eyes, but it takes it to a whole other level. Photoshop has an unlimited amount of power. Anything you can imagine you can do in Photoshop. That's not true in Lightroom. Lightroom is fairly limited, though it has the editing capabilities for most people. For example, for really serious portrait work, just a sport shot of my kid, I could go into filter and do the liquify tool. The liquify tool could allow you to give somebody bigger eyes or a smaller nose or change their weight. Um, let's zoom in here. It, you can see it even, it's smart, it has face aware liquify now, so I could change the size of her nose. <laughs> Look at that, sliding it up and down. She would think that was hilarious. I could force her to smile or frown. <laughs> um, I could zoom back a little here. I could use the bloat tool and give her a much bigger head. Um, whatever you can imagine, you can do in Photoshop. So, in summary, which should you use? Lightroom. And then at when you get to the point when Lightroom isn't enough, then you can jump into Photoshop. But here's where things get interesting. You can go out and buy Lightroom on Amazon and it will cost you like 160 bucks. And that you'll just have Lightroom 6, the current version, forever and you can use it forever. However, Adobe, the maker of Lightroom and Photoshop, basically forces you to pay on a month by month basis because they are continuously releasing small updates, but only the people who pay a monthly fee get all of those updates. So if you go and you buy it outright, Adobe will not give you some features that you'll probably really want, some really useful features like synchronization with Lightroom Mobile where you can edit apps on your phone, edit photos on your, on your smartphone, for example. So for that reason, I actually don't recommend that anybody just buy Lightroom outright. Instead, I tell people, just bite the bullet and sign up for Adobe's monthly software leasing plan, which is called Adobe Creative Cloud. Now, the good news is that you can go to sdp.io slash Adobe deal. And this is the best deal that we've been able to find, which is to prepay for both Lightroom and Photoshop for it's 120 bucks for one year. Um, and I actually needed to really new the licenses on this particular computer. So I did this just today, which is what made me think of this. This was the best deal I could possibly find. Again, I am very annoyed with Adobe for making me pay on a monthly basis for software. I would rather pay for it outright. I bet you feel the same way, but in practice, the way it is now, even if you're just a Lightroom user, it's probably better to just pay for it on a month by month basis. And when you do, you get Photoshop for free. So these two bundled together, it actually ends up being a pretty good deal, 10 bucks a month for both these incredibly powerful apps. They're the exact same apps that just about every pro in the world is going to be using. So you're not missing out on anything. Uh, and as your skills grow, you'll be able to uh, grow along with it. So again, those links, if you just wanna buy Lightroom, visit stp.io slash buy LR6. But when Adobe releases Lightroom 7, you won't get that update for free. You'll have to pay for that again. And if you don't pay for that and you get a new camera, you won't be able to use those raw files. They basically have kind of abandoned their old customers and will force you to upgrade anyway. So even if you pay for it outright, you're probably going to end up paying for the new versions. That's why I recommend people just get the monthly thing. SDP.io slash Adobe deal is the best that I could find. If you want to clarify something, if you have any questions, just ask me down below. And if you want to see lots of tutorials, well, check out our two books. We have books on Lightroom and Photoshop, which you can also find at Amazon, or you can visit sdp.io slash store and we'll ship them directly to you. Subscribe for lots of fun photography and post-processing videos. Bye and thanks.